Welcome, welcome. Welcome everyone to our Breakfast Club call. It is Thursday, February 1st. Wow. 2024. My name is Pamela Pacheco and I have the absolute honor, pleasure, and privilege of being your host. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. If you're joining us once again, welcome home. I remember when I first started the journey of entrepreneurship, I was looking forward to these type of morning mentorship calls. Not only was I looking type of forward to these type of calls because of the information I was going to receive, but I was looking forward to these type of calls for the inspiration that I was going to receive. So shout out to and kudos to each and every single one of you that decided to start this morning off with some inspiration, with some gratitude, with some greatness, because we all have heard the term before, garbage in is garbage out, greatness in is greatness out. And it's so important that when our subconscious mind is open the most, which is in the morning and at night, we are fueling our mind. We are fueling our subconscious with those things that are going to allow us to grow in each and every single aspect of our lives. So top of the morning, welcome. If you, if this is your first time, you're like, man, where can I find these recordings? I'm on my way to work or I missed the last week. Feel free to go ahead and join us on Chosen Global YouTube page. You can find all of our recordings to our past breakfast club calls. Uh, these calls have been going on from in person and we shifted to Zoom during the pandemic for it's about to be five years, over five years that we've been doing these calls. So super grateful that I get to do this every Thursday morning with, with you guys. So today, one of those things that I want to talk about, you know, last week we were talking about the power of belief. And the week before that, we spoke about the power of decision making. And I think it's very important as we go into this new month for us to understand that one of those things, and I am so excited if you have not, don't walk, run to your back office to go get some greens because we are back in stock, baby. And you know, those are some fan favorites and our fan favorites will sell out. So go and grab a few, add a few more to your cart. So in case your friend runs out, you could be like me and be like, I got you, don't worry, okay? So make sure you do that. But one of the things that you know I often encounter, whether I am in as a business coach or I am, you know, building our community and whatever aspect I find myself in is more and more people are building online. Uh, have type of one in the chat. If you think about, or you have utilized a short form video or you utilize your social media for uh, building your business or building any business. Yes, yes, the ones are coming through. Make sure you're sending it to all panelists and attendees so we can all read your comments and your feedback. Absolutely. And here's the reality that building your personal brand is not only crucial in the world of social selling, in the world of business, in the world of network marketing, but it's important, period. Why? Because our brand is essentially our reputation. It's what sets us apart from other people in the industry. And one of the reasons that I take so much pride in my brand, I take so much pride in this is because in teaching us this, and this is things that I charge people to teach and I teach to our community for free because I understand that one of us represents all of us. And the more of us that are harnessing in on the power of our branding, that are harnessing in on the power of how we're showing up online, it makes us all look good. Would you agree that if one of us looks better, we all look better by default? Yes, that of one in that chat. Absolutely. Absolutely. So one of those things is that how you're showing up online matters. And a lot of people are like, you know, hey, I got, I got a product. I want to sell it. 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 But here's the reality. Are you adding value? Are you adding value? Because see, your brand, yes, it's essentially your reputation. It's what's going to set us apart from others in the industry. But building our brand is very important and adding value. So I'm going to go over why is it important and some strategies on how to make it in a relatively short time frame. For example, let's say in the next 60 days. So one of the most important things and the reasons for building our brand is that trust and credibility. A strong personal brand establishes your trust with your audience. And what that does is it makes it more likely for them to engage with you and your products. Have you ever found yourself in your business or in your life that you're like, man, I made my list. I kind of went through it. 
And if we're being honest, I don't ever think we run out of people to show. I think that we just run out of people to talk to that we're comfortable with. Everybody say bonus training, right? Bonus training. And absolutely. But the list of people we do not know is longer than the list of people we know. And whether it is on social media, whether it is prospecting out in the marketplace, whether you are prospecting out in your community, it is essential for you to understand that your brand, your it precedes you, right? You can't take, I don't care if you got a Rolls Royce, you got a Bentley, a Ferrari, right? The new tech, my bestie got the new Tessie. All of these things are amazing. But guess what? Mansions, yachts, all of these things, jets. You can't take that with you to Dubai. You show up in Dubai, you show up anywhere. What is the first thing people are going to look at? They're going to look at how you're showing up online. Now, I'm not the person that's going to sit here and tell you it's not important to focus on building your entire digital blueprint. Absolutely. However, it's important for you to start at least with one. And I myself, I'm just being very transparent. I've focused too long on just building one, right? And I had to rebuild. So I've been co-creating my entire digital blueprint over the last four years very, very intentionally because I understand that that strong brand personality, that strong personal brand establishes my trust with my audience. And therefore, if somebody, people do business with people, they what? They know, they like, and they trust. So if they don't know you, if they get to like you, do you think that they, you have a personality that they'll like to get to know if they like you? Yeah. And then if they like you and they get to know you, then they can trust you. Yes. So people do business with people know, like, and trust. However, how do you convert that? It's building that strong presence, that strong presence online that gives you that trust and that credibility. And one of those things I will, I will tell you is that when somebody, you know, I'm going on TV tomorrow to talk about your habits. Next week, I'm going to be talking to the Latin community about self-love and self-care. And every week I'm talking about different things that have to do with life, with business, with brand strategy, right? With uh, utilizing uh, your password to build passive income, all of these things. But I'm able to talk about all of these things all over the world because I built a very strong personal brand. My personal brand as phenomenal as our community is, is not just tied to one thing because I don't ever want to show up as somebody that does not have credibility, as somebody that does not, that is not trustworthy because all I'm making it is salesy. I don't ever want people to come into my page and be like, every day she's selling something. Yes, they can say every day she is selling something because if you follow me, you're like, okay, today she's talking about her what she had on while she was working out. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what I wore while I worked out. Right. And then I'm going to tell you what I drink every day post workout, my shaken greens. And if you follow me on social media, on my story, you know, I post that every day. Why is because that is building that credibility. That is building the trust. People start, you build rapport with people online, on your social media, through your stories. And here's another reason why building your brand is important it's the differentiation. It, like, have you ever said, you know what? How can I set myself apart? How can I have, what is my competitive advantage? Well, here's what your competitive advantage is. It's your you. And you being you is your superpower because God has given you gifts. God has given me gifts. God has given each and every single one of us gifts, right? Gifts is generating income from your talent. I say it's generating income and impact from your talents. So what? how are you using your gifts? And the differentiation when you're showing up online to build your personal brand, it's in a crowded market. It's a unique personal brand. It helps you stand out. It defines what makes you special, why people should choose you over others, essentially. But more so than anything, how can you get more people to engage with you? It's you being that person that is authentic, you being that person that is setting yourself apart. And how you do that is by showing up consistently online. And one of the key differentiating factors is asking yourself, you know what, what is it that I want to be known for? What is it that I want to be known for when people come into my page? What is it that I want their experience to be? 
because people they do business with people they know like and trust and the long the list of people we don't know is longer than the list of people we know but how do we get to those people it's adding value into the marketplace but it's asking yourself if if what i'm posting is this in alignment now i know that sometimes maybe you're confused and you're like well I know she wants to educate and inspire, but she just posted something that's funny because I want people to see my personality. I'm not, there's nothing stuffy about me. I'm very transparent. Uh, God's still working on me, right? So you'll be, you you'll see me, you know, praise the Lord. And then other time you see me post something like, man, people are something, aren't they? We are, we are special. I'm just me. I'm authentically who I am because I understand that each and every single one of you being you is your superpower. So own that because that is going to be the differentiation um, factor. Here's another strong reason why building our brand is so important. It's the relationship building. People buy from those that they know, like, and trust. Well, your brand is that way to express your personality. It's also a way to express your values. How many of you post on your social media things with your family? I, I love, I see, shout out to Jared. I, though Jada's on here, right? I love following the two of my favorite couples to follow on social media are Maximo and Karen Lauren, uh, Laura and Jared and Comitio Jada. Why? Because they take you through their life. They're so cute. They'll take you through date nights. They'll take you through marriage. They'll take you through working their business together. They'll take you through their journey, right? They'll take you through the entire journey and people, the more that you're showing up and they're like, oh, wow, this is, this is who that is. This is, this is what that person is doing. Right. It's, it's like, now they can be like, oh, I can relate to that. Yeah, man, he a firefighter and he still got time to do this with his wife. I know some of the fellas looking at it like, man, I got to go on him and step it up because if he's able to do that, you know, raising kids, raising all these things, it's like, yeah, I'm a, but they're showing authentically who they are. And that is what gravitates to people. See, in the world where people don't always post what they post to be, make sure that you're showing up authentically as you because that's going to express your personality. That's also going to express your values. And here's another key way how you express, how you build those relationships with your brand is you're showing your expertise. You're showing your expertise, right? I love that. Sorry, Jared, I'm going to use you as another example. I love that Jared will share his expertise as a firefighter, but then he'll also share his expertise as a community builder and the, you know, the value added into people's lives and the expertise. And it just goes to show people, listen, I can be an expert in this. I can also be an expert in that. Like, don't don't live in a world where people are trying to confine you to their own limitations, a step outside of the box. And I'm going to, and I'm going to tell you now, sometimes when you do step outside of the box, let's, let's be real. When, when God disrupts some things in your life and you're like, this is a little uncomfortable, it feels like a war zone, but in reality, it's your glory zone because everything outside of your comfort zone is your growth zone. So Anytime that there's any disruption when, or there's any resistance when you're building something or, or you're doing your best to just kind of, you know, uh, authentically own this and you're, and you're getting some, you know, resistance, just understand that there's a breakthrough coming at the other side of it. There's an opportunity at the other side of the obstacle that you're overcoming. But these are skill sets that are so important for us to learn in our life. Now, here's another reason. Consistency and recognition, a consistent brand across your online and your offline presence helps in recognition. When people consistently see you, when people consistently see you, they recognize your brand. And guess what? Because they recognize your brand, they're more likely to remember you. So ask yourself, am, what, am I, what am I posting? Is it going to allow me to be remembered? Or better yet, is it in alignment how I want to be remembered? Is it in alignment with that vision that I have for my life, for my brand? And here's another reason why it is so important, right, for us to build our brand. It's the authority and the expertise. And you hear that word expertise coming up again because it is so powerful. But building a brand around your expertise positions you as an authority 
in your field, as an authority in your niche, as an authority in what it is that you're doing. And this can lead to more opportunities for collaborations and partnerships and people and blessings that you ever even imagined. The doors that building your brand will open are astronomical. I will tell you that the three guests that I had at our last personal development training on Saturday, January 20th, it did not come because I am just out here in the community recruiting people. No, I'm in the community adding value to people's lives. But when somebody connects with me out in the networking event, when somebody connects with me at a gas station, when somebody connects with me at the mall, at the nail shop, at the hair shop, it doesn't matter. They're like, oh, what I see is what I see. Like what I see in front of me, this woman is exactly who she is online. It's the consistency. And therefore people are like, okay, I could deal with you because she's, she's really who she is. None of us are perfect, but I'm showing up authentically as me. And when people hear me open my mouth, they're like, okay, I can see why this makes sense. I can see why you do what you do. Right? So ask yourself all of these things. So again, the importance of building your brand, trust and credibility, differentiation, setting you apart, your competitive advantage, relationship building, consistency and recognition, authority and expertise, right? And type of, type of one in the chat or type of V if you're getting some value from this, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you are, if you have anything in the chat that you're like, yes, you know, this is or something else that you guys say, I utilize this to build my brand, please type it in. Let me know what that looks like for you. Let me know if what is working. Is any of this making sense? Because at the end of the day, I'm here to serve you guys. And I always want to make sure that this is something that's in alignment. Because as we go into this next event, as we go into this next month, can we be real that January just flew by? Didn't it? <laughs> like, it just flew by. We're like, God. But the reality is that if we're intentional about what it is that's going to set us apart. If we're intentional as a community of how we're going to bless more people, of showing up authentically as us, as not being, I don't want us to be known as that community that's salesy, that's spammy, and I'm sorry to use this word, that's corny, okay? I, it's like, it, it's it's not, it's not hip, okay? It's not, it's not, it's not cool. And I, I, my language is like, that's not what's up. That's not, that's not world class. That is not, powerhouse performance so whenever you're showing up on online on media is like don't get me wrong if you if you have you know you're sending memes all day to your friends it's like some of my close friends they know they get memes from me and stuff it's like funny content a week but that's not all you're going to see now you'll see inspiration you'll see entertainment you'll see education but more than anything you're going to see values so keep asking yourself what do i want to be known for and what do i want the experience to be so Who's ready to turn up their brand in the next 60 days? You're like, I need to know. I need to like, I need a game plan, Pam. Like type of P in the chat. If you're like, I need the plan. I need the plan. I need the plan. I need the plan. 60 days. I need the plan. Like, what does that look like for me in the next 60 days? I need that. I need that. Number one, define your brand. Just going to give you guys 10 quick strategies. Okay. So in the next 60 days, now I want you to screenshot what that looks like for you, okay? Screenshot screenshot your page, screenshot your following, screenshot your engagement, your analytics, screenshot all of these things. But here's, here's the number one thing. Define your brand. We spoke about that earlier. What is it that you want to be known for, right? Clearly define your unique selling proposition. Identify what makes you different from others in your field. And I'm going to take it, I'm going to take it a, a step further. Identify what are your brand values. Identify what is your brand voice. Identify what is your brand visuals. What, what, what are, what, what does that look like for you? Because I will tell you that your brand visuals, your brand values your brand voice what is that vision for your brand okay it's going to allow you to say okay i know i know what that is because now when you clearly articulate what your brand stands for what are your values what are your missions what's your unique selling proposition 
Now you have a well-defined brand that I that and that brand identity helps differentiate you from anybody else because it's specifically and strategically to you. Does that make sense? Right? Type of one in the chat if this if this makes sense. Yes. So clearly define what it is that that looks like. Number two, optimize your social media profiles. Optimize your social media profiles. Ensure that your social media profiles are complete, they're professional, and they're in alignment with your brand. Here's one of the ways that you optimize your social media profile. Using a consistent profile picture across all social media. Using a consistent bio across all social media platforms. Having a specific cover photo across all social media platforms. Optimizing your bio for success. What does that look like? A simple and effective handle. If you've been following me for the last decade, you know that on social media, prior to Pam the Plug, I was Miss Pamela underscore Pacheco underscore, okay? My entire name is Pamela Jennifer Desiree Pacheco Reyes. I know, it's the Dominican. My mother, God bless her. So, you know, they just knew I was going to be somebody, I guess. They wanted to give me five names. If you're, you know, Caribbean people, this is what we do. But that's never going to be my social media handle because I want it to be easily remembered. So if I were you, I would do my best to stay away from the underscore, stay away from the 30 periods. Now, if you have one or two underscores, cool. If it's something catchy, awesome. Utilize it, but do your best to keep it as simple and effective as possible. When I thought of what the name I wanted, I wanted it to be about me. See, a lot of people, when I chose the name Pam the Plug, had a lot of opinions to say. Like, oh, you know, that, that has a negative connotation. I say, yeah, that's just based on your limited thinking because I'm a world-class powerhouse performer. I am a world-class coach. I'm a world-class influencer. And I am Pam the Plug. I'm that person that allows you to unplug from the matrix, unplug from that life that's not serving you and be plugged into you living a purpose-driven life. So it's beyond me plugging you into all things fly in business, in travel, in lifestyle, in life. It's about me plugging into your best version of you. So when people understand the method to my madness, they like, oh, wow. And they're like, oh, you know, uh, and I asked somebody recently that was like, but you know, in the Spanish community, how do you say Pam, Pam the plug? I said, Pam the plug. And I said, and I, because I'm Hispanic, I break that down to you real quick. Más que la conectadora, la que te ayuda a desconectar. It's my tagline in Spanish, right? I got, it's because I got a strategy for anything and everything I'm doing. And that's why it's like, you know, Jay-Z is always going to be one of my favorites because you put me anywhere on God's green earth. I'm going to triple my worth. Why? Because I know my value that I add into the marketplace. But more than anything, I know my, my purpose on life is to impact, is to inspire, is to lead, is to help people tap into that greatness. And if it wouldn't have been for this industry, I would have never been able to acquire the level of freedom that I have to be able to do this, the skill sets and the mindset. And I will tell you, that's why I will never stop building our community because this is what has allowed me to have the freedom the last nine months of my mom's life to take care of her, have the freedom and the residual to build other businesses, but have the skill set, build that grit. And when you learn that grit here, honey, when you learn that public speaking here, honey, you could go and apply that anywhere to anything you do at any moment. So it's one of those things that it's, it's, taking ownership of what do you want that to look like. So consistency, optimize your social media profiles. Here's another way that you optimize your social media profiles. Okay, and if I'm rambling, y'all just be like, Pam, come back, right? But if y'all are still getting value, type of V in the chat. I know a lot of you guys are sending it to all panel uh, to uh, just uh, panelists. Make sure you send it to all panelists and attendees. But here's, here's another way that you can do that is by adding a a word, a search keyword. So when you optimize your bot, your bio, are you on there when people look up something in your field, when people look up a tag word, this is called search engine optimization, also known in the digital space as SEO. So how are you adding this to your, what it is that you want to be known for? 
How are you adding this to how it is that you're standing out? Put one of those key words that you want people to search you as in your name. If your name is on your Instagram handle, and guys, I made this mistake too, okay? That's why I'm able to laugh about it with y'all because your girl wasn't OBC who she is. I've, 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 you know, I've gone ahead and uh, <laughs> hired coaches to help me with this stuff over the last four years because I knew as great as I was, as good as I was, great, good is the enemy of great. And I knew that there was another level. I knew there was the next level and how I wanted that to be. So I say that to say, if your handle is, if you have your name in your bio twice, you don't need that, right? You, you don't need that. Now, somebody asked me recently, is like, why do you have on your, if you tell me, right? Oh, uh, was one of my mentees challenge. And I love when they do, because it's so, in, uh, it's so, uh, invigorating, right? It motivates me more and it shows me I'm doing something right. So one of my mentees is like, you know, what you have your your name on Facebook is Pamela Pacheco Reyes. It's not Pamela Pacheco. And I said, you're right. I said, and the reason for that is, and if you see in the parentheses, it says Pam the plug. The reason for that is, is because my mom transitioned to being my angel three years ago. And I have a lot of family in the Dominican Republic. And I have family, to be honest with you, around the world that I have no idea who they are. And they find me on social media because of my mom's last name. So I'm still keeping the Reyes on there. So it's if, it, if you have a method to your madness as to why you want to differentiate something cool, but make sure that you're showing up across all the platforms as who it is that you are and what it is that is differentiating you because all of these little things matter. All of these little things matter. Here's another way that you can go ahead and build your strategies in 60 days, okay? Content marketing. Shout out to Mitchy, she's on here. The Jada's, Maximo, there's a bunch of you. Lisa, there's a bunch of you that are killing this content creation. I absolutely love what you guys are doing. I absolutely applaud your content creation. Creating valuable and shareable content related to your niche, related to your authority, related to what it is that you are. This could be videos, like it can be blog posts, it can be infographics, and sharing this content across your social media. Here's, here's another thing, right? When you're creating this content, asking yourself, am I adding value? When you're creating this content in the first two seconds of your video or in the first two seconds of your post, right? Make sure that you are grabbing people's attention. This is called a hook. You're engaging somebody, right? You're, you're adding, you're, you're getting somebody's attention. Now I'm going to give you really quick, uh, a bunch of just quick hooks, right? Did you, did you remember? Uh, did you know, have you heard Three steps to do this. Three benefits of that, right? Why, why you don't, why you don't do this? You know how I overcame this. People always want to know stories. People always want to know stories. So within the first two to three seconds, engaging people is a must. Your hook is to grab people's attention. Here's another way: when you are creating it, make sure your angles are not looking crazy right? The angles in which you create com uh, content matter. I highly recommend getting a tripod, getting a lapel mic, uh, again, getting to the first, uh, the first point in the first three seconds. Now, here is another thing that when you are doing these things, when you are creating the content, it's asking yourself also, okay, well, if I'm creating the content, if I already know that this is something that I want to consistently do. Just add value. You can talk about, you know, the greens are back up, right? I'm going to go on here and do something shortly for it. And it's going to be me promoting of this is how this add value. I'm going to be like three top benefits as to why you need the greens. The greens, guys, it's flu season, right? I've been waiting for this to come back in stock because I, I've been, I have the ammo ready, right? It is flu season. People need these greens. Uh, somebody yesterday on Jared's Wild Wednesday call was talking about how they do it as a tea. Yes, me too. Right? When somebody would be like, oh, how does this compare to the skinny tea? It don't. It don't. Because we, like, we we set ourselves apart, right? We It's sugar free. But the cool part about this is that Dr. Cone puts things in it like monk fruit, like apple flavor to give it. And this is why it's suitable for kids even four years old and up. So 
adding value to people when you're creating this content, adding value to people's lives, adding value, letting them know when you're creating the content, it's not just buy my product, buy my product. I have the best greens. I have the best curb. This is going to allow you to curb your appetite. Uh, you should buy this for me. Forget what they're talking about. No, it's adding the value. Hey, did you know that this is non-GMO? It's gluten-free. It's soy-free. It's dairy-free. It's everything. It's completely vegan. There's no artificial flavors. And what this does is it blends. It, it curves our appetite. Did you know that this is something that also gives you energy because it curves your appetite? So it, re it re replaces the urge for craving with a burst of energy. Did you know that? So it's adding value to people when you're doing your content marketing, because the more valuable and shareable content that you have, people are going to be like, oh, I got to go follow these people. I got to, I got to go follow these people. Number four, engaging with your audience. Now you created content. Your, your reel is booming. Your blog is booming. Your, your infographic, your video, all of these things. Okay. Now actively engage with your audience on social media. So what does this mean? Respond to comments, join relevant groups, participate in discussions, building relationships is key. If you think you're just going on social media to just post and be cute or be pretty and just give money and you're not going to build relationships, sadly mistaken. The only difference between a contact and a contract is the R for relationship. So build those relationships because you're adding value, engaging with your audience. And here's a bonus training. Everybody type bonus training. When you are engaging with your audience, don't be the person that's like, you got a thousand comments and you're responding to all a thousand comments in that first hour. Spread it out. Whether you want to spread it out throughout the day, whether you want to spread it out amongst two days, depending on how often you post, right? The reason why you do that is because now you're tricking the algorithm into saying, oh, this post is still relevant. Let me keep pushing it out because it is it's still relevant in what I am doing. Here's another way that you can engage with your audience. When you are posting, yes, hashtags are cool. Use your hashtags. If you're doing a hashtag of your location, if you're doing a hashtag of your niche, if you're doing a hashtag of your product, those are those are three things that I always say, location, product, value, right? What it is that you want to know for. Here's another thing that you want to start using if you haven't already, keywords. So if somebody is just searching a keyword of travel, is your, is your post going to come up? If they're just posting lifestyle, if they're just posting, if they're just looking for healthy habits, if they're just looking for daily workout routine, post-workout recovery, if, is, is it going to come up based on the keywords? Because it's not just all hashtags. Now, number five, leveraging community. Leveraging community. That looks like not only leveraging each other in our community, but that also means leveraging people that you meet. Now, also, I'm not going to be the person that's telling you, hey, randomly go out and start DMing a thousand strangers that you don't know that you have zero rapport with, that you have built zero relationship with and ask them to do a live. Let's collaborate. No, what I'm saying is as you're building relationships in the marketplace, as you're adding values into the communities that you are expecting to receive value from, leverage those relationships, leverage those influencers, connect with other people in your industry, connect with other professionals, connect with people that, because the, the biggest lack, the biggest void in the marketplace is community. Yeah. You can see a lot of people together, but that doesn't mean that people are engaging in community. And why I tell you that is because the three guests that I had that came to our event, the uh, January 20th, the Super Saturday, they're all coming to Playbook in Orlando. You know why? They fell in love with the community. They fell in love with the authenticity of us. They fell in love that, you know, Maximo was teaching and what he was doing. And they also fell in love with the fact that as he's teaching, he's also being a student. They fell in love with the authenticity of Josh's story of how he is a holistic life coach and he is on TV all the time, but there's no true, there's nothing else truer than true residual. And that's why he will always do this because 
it's something that he's passing down to his kids' kids because he can't pass down the coaching, right? Just being real. But they fall in love with my vulnerability. They fall in love with I was authentically who I was. I was in my divine femininity, but my authenticity of my strength, of my posture, of my passion, of my belief for what it is that we're doing and where we're going. But every thing came back it was the community it's the people that make the difference it's us that make the difference it is us that so i feel like one of those things it's the more that you are understanding that these that you building authentic relationships is what matters why you showing up authentically as yourself is what is going to resonate with people the bigger and better that we're going to continue to be so another thing is consistent branding Number six, this is number six. If you are taking notes and I know we're, we're going a little longer, but we got, we got 20 more minutes, but I'm, I'm gonna have, wrap it up in half of that. Engaging with your audience, right? Leveraging community, leveraging influencers. But here's another one. It's consistent branding. Ensure that your brand message, that your colors, that your imagery are consistent across all of your platforms. This includes your website, your social media, and any other online presence. Guys, if you are the person that thinks, oh my goodness, I can't do this because I need to hire a coach and it's so much money to do that. And you don't got to do all that. I got to hire a graphics designer. You don't got to do that, that. Now, do I? did I do that when I got to certain levels? Yeah, right? Because I, I believe in mentorship. However, you could go right on Canva. It is free. Right. You can go on Fiverr, Fiverr, whichever one you want to call it. It is there's so many different ways that you can get a lot of your content for free. Right. You want fire videos and you're like, I don't even know. I don't even know the camera. Cool. Do it from your iPhone. There's an app. There's a Web page called Pexel, P-E-X-E-L. You get free footage. Right. Free videos. You can have B-roll on there. It's granted nothing wins like authenticity. But if you want to take a clip from something to make it yours and make it incoherent, make it in alignment with your brand messaging, there's nothing wrong with that. But making sure that your brand message, your colors, your imagery is consistent across all platforms, uh, coolore.co, right? It's a free website that allows you to play with color palettes and it tells you what the different, what the different aspects are when it comes to you know, you having um, you what each color means. What does yellow mean? What does pink mean? What does blue mean? Right? Pink means love and nurturing, and it's your girl's favorite color. So that definitely is a uh, part of my brand, right? The blue is means credibility. It means authority. It lets it's 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 a mixture of my brand. The yellow, I I love nature. I love brightness because I I represent joy. I represent brilliance. So you have to pick things that are in alignment with you. I granted, I've had favorite colors my entire life. Like if you go to my car, like, however, I was like, okay, what is the, that's best in alignment with me? What is it that's best in alignment with where I'm going with what I want to be known for with the value that I want to add with what it is that I want to be remembered for. Right. So making sure that your branding is consistent is absolutely a amazing and imperative. Here's another reason, right? And I, let me let me go and I'm backtracking a little bit. Here's another reason that it's important for you to leverage the community and leverage the influencers and leverage the relationships is because not only are you able to engage with other people's content and you're able to share insights, but building those valuable relationships is beyond you tapping into other people's audience and gaining credibility. It's about you adding value to people's lives. It's about you being recognized as an authority in what it is that you are speaking about. It's because you're sharing these stories with people. It's because you've engaged in adding value to people's lives that people will come from far to see you, right? People will come, people will seek you out because opportunities will come knocking for you when you set yourself apart. So that is super important. Here's another way that you can do that. Customer testimonials. Guys, we're in the middle of a club fit challenge, right? You guys saw, I, I did it a few people. Why? Because it's, it's different ways that you're connecting with people, but the customer testimonials are everything. If you have a customer testimony, whether it was with any one of our products, I 
highly recommend that you have those, that you incorporate that. You can have, now, if you're the person that's like, okay, I don't want it to be a testimony every single day. Cool. Ha have testimonial, you know, say, hey, it's testimony Thursday. I got a 10 second, 30 second testimony. Your site doesn't have to look again like an infomercial or spammy. Make it real and relatable, but let people know the products work. I love when somebody tells me, man, I'm trying to lose weight and I just pull up a picture real quick. I pull up either Chris Carroll's picture. I pull up Black Mamba's picture. I pull up J-O-N's picture. I, she, somebody told me the other day, man, I want to build muscle. I'm skinny. I don't ever think as a skin, as a, as a, you know, petite girl, I could build muscle. Boy, I pull up Delicia's picture so quick. I said, girl, look at my friend. Mm-hmm. I don't know, but all I know is that my friend Delisa, she a single mom. She used to be a banker. She a boss. Boy, you see them, you see them apps. You see that? You see that definition in the muscle? It's because of these products, girl. We got the community will teach you how to do that. I'm not a personal trainer, but Kim Lyons is. So I'm again, I'm leveraging our community. I'm leveraging a reputable brand for 20 plus years. I'm rep I'm I'm leveraging Dr. Cohn. So all of these things matter when you are bringing it in. And this is why I always tell people, like, if you think that all of these things are not relevant to you, not only building your business, but building your legacy, man, I'm so sorry. And this is why I will never get tired of talking about this because I know the value that it's adding to all of our lives. Uh, here's another way that you can grow your brand in the next 60 days, hosting online events. And I'm gonna also tell you this, hosting local events making sure that you are not only conducting live sessions, that you're conducting webinars, you conduct a Q&A session, do a Q&A session or a webinar or a live session to showcase your expertise. See, what I love about our community is that you can major in one, minor in the two, right? I love to major in travel and the nutrition and I minor in everything else. Now, Am I still an advocate for it? Of course, my mascara, my lipstick, my skin is giving glow because of our products for skincare. Now, am I the girl that has the most disciplined skincare routine? No. However, have I been an advocate for it? Yes, but I lead with what it is that most resonates with me. You have to find what that is for you. And one of the greatest things about hosting not only online events is because again, the list of people we do not know is longer than the list of people, you know, you want to go live. I went live when I was in Thailand and I know the people was looking at me like, you crazy. Like we're all by the pool, hanging out, chilling, right. Having a few drinks. Everybody was drinking, but Lisa and it's okay. Right. And Lisa, uh, Lisa knows I love her and I'm not uh, saying discrediting anybody. I'm actually doing a dry year. Uh, so far, uh, 31 days, right? We start off the month dry. Uh, Lisa inspires me in more ways than one. So she knows her and I always go back and forth. But it's um, one of those things that right there, we were all just hanging out by the pool. I went live. And yes, Lisa is one of the best agents. Shout out to Lisa. She just ended up number one on the leaderboard for customer sales. Super, super proud of you. And I knew she was going to pull it off like the queen boss from Philly. That she is. Y'all show Lisa from, uh, some loves. Nisa's also on there. Um, I know Vicky was on there. So many of you guys. So shout out to all of y'all. But yeah, so going back to what I was saying, I went live and I know a lot of people were like, that's crazy. Why? I, but the reason why I went live with people that were there, I went live with Lisa's cousin, Pam, um, with Lisa's sister also, and Lisa's uh, cousin-in-law and Lisa. Now I strategically did that. Why? Because I wanted people to see people having fun. Now that retreat, guess what? Lisa has so much fun in that retreat. She is hosting a whole retreat to Italy, y'all. So if you guys want to go to Italy, if y'all want more information on that, DM me Italy and I will send you Lisa's contact info. Lisa's actually going to put her email in the chat, okay, so that whoever wants to go to Italy uh, can go to Italy in August. So I'm sharing this with you to say this, that it was the power of those lives. I had somebody hit me up right after the live, be like, as soon as you get back from Thailand, please, I need to get with you because... I not only need a vacation, but I want to send my parents, my aunts, my uncles. I want to send all these people out on a vacation. Why? Because I went live 
And I was showcasing somebody that was an engineer having a great time. I was showcasing a retired detective and a, re a retired uh, nurse having a good old time, Miss Lisa Byrne. I was showcasing so many different people, a retired chef. I was uh, showcasing a current nurse working 60, 70, sometimes 80 hours a week, letting her hair down in Thailand. And all I asked was, tell me a little bit about you. What do you do for a living? Are you having fun on this Thailand escape? Why? What makes it fun? I just want to know three things. See, the person that listens the most leads the conversation. Have you ever asked somebody one question and they, don't we love to talk? We all love to talk, don't we? Because I know I, I'm a talker, I'm a chatterbox, right? We all do. So it's asking questions that are going to get people engaged. Can people do business with people they know, like, and trust? But are we showcasing the power of our stories? Are we showcasing the power of the testimonials of our community? So that is one of the greatest ways that we can do that is by hosting these events, by going live with people, by going live. J-A-O-N, shout out to Jay, does a great job at this as well. I absolutely love it. So if you don't follow Jay, follow him as well. You know, this this is another thing. Maybe you want to conduct a live Q&A. Maybe you want to conduct a live Q&A just with people that I would I would give you, and I'm giving you guys bonus training again, right? So we got playbook coming on around the corner. If I were you, I would go and conduct a Q&A session with people that have went to their first national event. And what was the experience? Positive growth, right? And I would tell you, um, this is, again, this are different ideas of how you can showcase the value of the community. I have people that because they went to our trainings event, they've gotten over seven different promotions in the last 10 years at their job. Do they build the business aggressively? No, but they've already cleared six figures in the industry just because they kept coming around to the training. So do you think that extra six figures did sign for them? Yeah, just a little bit. So it's, again, adding value. But more than anything, you're showcase, you not only are you showcasing your expertise and showcasing these stories, but you're adding value. And this is always going to help us all build a personal connection with our audience. Here's another way that kind of piggybacks off of hosting events and going live and all of these things is networking, attending, attending relevant events, whether it's online events, you can do networking online, by the way, I would go join Facebook groups of people um, if you are a single mom or you are a mom, I would join uh, Facebook groups centered around that. I would join Facebook groups in your city. I would join networking groups in your city. I would join groups about travel. I would join people. I would join groups about professionals. I would join groups about people because the reality is that when you attend these networking events, whether they're online, whether they're in person, whether they're webinars, these groups are to connect us with like-minded individuals, with like-minded individuals. Building relationships within our industry is valuable for brand growth across the board. A lot of people tell me, no, you know, I don't want to show this to my friend because she's a successful realtor and she's she's made so much money. I'm going to tell you, I have friends that have been in real estate for 20 plus years and they have been seven figure earners. A lot of people in their corresponding industries are experiencing difficulties in the community. They're experiencing difficulties in their industry. We have something everybody wants at a price nobody can get and at an experience they cannot have access to unless they engage through the good life. So what I will tell you is, Focus on these things. And if you're the person that's like, you know, this is something uh, I, I kind of, I don't even know where to start. Just track and adjust. Track and adjust, right? Regularly assess your efforts. Use the analytics to see what's working and adjust your strategy accordingly. And if you need any help with any of these things, just reach out to me, right? Complimentary, I'll do a session with you guys. I will do a brand audit, but whatever it is that you guys need. Remember, building a brand is an ongoing process, but these strategies, it helps make significant strides 
in a relatively short period. Consistency and authenticity are the key elements in our brand building. And I'm gonna leave you with, with this, right? And so if you're like, Pam, I was taking notes, you were going too fast, let's go really quick. The importance of building our brand, trust and credibility, differentiation, right? Competitive advantage, relationship building, consistency and recognition, authority and expertise was number five. Now, strategies to build your brand in the next 60 days, defining your brand. Number two, optimizing your social media pro profiles. Number three, content marketing. Number four, engaging with your audience. Number five, leveraging community and influencers. Number six, consistent branding. Number seven, testimonials. Number eight, hosting events online and in person. Number nine, networking. And number 10, tracking and adjusting accordingly. I will, I will share one thing with you guys. Ask yourself, what is your why? What is, what is your why? You know, what it is that, what's driving you? What has you? What are, what are, what is that for you? What does that mean for you? And the reason why I'm even saying this to you today is because if you understand the power that we have, the power of why, see, the reasons always, always come first. The answers come second. Your reasons will always come first. Your answers come second. If you got a big enough reason to do something, to accomplish something, anything, you can figure out how to do it. Passion is not found in the field of the unreasonable. Anything Sorry, passion is found in the fields of the unreasonable because anything possible, if you are, there's any, there's nothing that's impossible when you are clear about what you want and you have strong enough reasons and a real action plan. If you have unreasonable expectations for what will be required of you and if you're willing to meet them, there's nothing that can stop you. So when you're asking yourself, you know, what, what is my why? Understand that you can know on all of the techniques of how to condition yourself to succeed. But if you don't know why you're doing it, what it is that it's move, what it is that it's moving you towards, then it's rare that you're ever going to get the most out of yourself. Setting a goal is acknowledging to your conscious and to your subconscious mind that where you are is not where you want to be. Having a goal creates a positive pressure. A lot of people think, oh, pressure is not, not nah, pressure builds diamond. This is a positive pressure. It's necessary to move us forward. There's something beyond just what we understand in writing something down. Like when we, when we write something down, it just, it happens. You become a creator when you write down your goals, when you get intentional about living a purpose-driven life, when you get intentional about what it is that you want to be remembered for and what it is and why is this important to you, you get clear as to absolutely why you will make them happen and it will all become a reality. Ask yourself, what would I have to believe in in order to not only set my goals, but to really achieve them. Who we become in the process of achieving our goals is ultimately the real purpose. At the end of our life, we're going to have, all we're going to have is what you've become as a person, the moments you create in your life that you'll never forget, and understand that this legacy will always outlive you. Breakfast has been served. It is always an honor, pleasure, and pride privilege to get to be with you every Thursday morning at 8 a.m. Hope you guys got a lot of value. Much love and blessings to you guys. Again, hit me up. I will be more than happy to assist you guys with an audit if you guys need um, complimentary for our community. I really appreciate you guys. Great day and God bless. The best is yet to come. You deserve it. Bye. Love y'all.